you know, I was always dreading getting the family van. I didn't want to be the family man with the family van. I discovered something good about the family van. The dark windows, you can always drive in the carpool lane. Always. Nobody even thinks to look in to see if there's anybody else in there. So anytime I need to go somewhere fast, I take the van right through. And finally, finally, I see the advantage of having a family. I have the minivan. Yeah? With the tinted windows, yeah. and I have never used the carpool lane. I'm going to. Let this be a learning experience for you. Do you even like put a put a doll in the ch child seat? Nah, who needs it? No, you don't I have mean, to. Every now and then I look back and scream. As they I'm do. They I'm must think kids. if they see a minivan in the carpool lane, the cops are probably. They know it's not worth the time to pull over because there's probably a kid in the back seat. And even if there's not, they go, well, that that poor bastard has to drive the minivan. <laughs> I'll right. leave him alone. Why humiliate him even further? Here's the other thing, if he does pull you over, he goes, hey, you're in the car pulling, and you go, yeah, but it's just you in the car, and you go, <gasps> what? And then turn around and be like, where's my kid? So and it'll then, be a new emergency, and he'll let you go. He'll go, what? And I go, he was in the car. I stopped at the ATM for two seconds. I got back in, I just assumed, because he was asleep, oh my God, my baby. And then the police will go, oh my God, and he'll call 911, and then... I mean, I guess then you're in serious trouble. Well, or maybe it'll be a big misunderstanding. Everybody will have a good laugh. Yeah. And you'll get back in the carpool lane. And yeah, back. and then he goes, you never had the kid. And you go, dude, I'm, I'm so tired.